Okay, video demonstrating what inches of water column means when it comes to gas pressures. We have this propane tank right here. Uh, the tank itself is delivering 80 PSI to the inlet side of our regulator. The regulator is reducing it down to inches of water column, which is below one PSI. So when it's that low a pressure for like gas appliances, it has to be measured in inches of water column. So we have set up a hose here on the outlet side of our regulator and water seeks its own level. So we are gonna make a mark. Chris is gonna hold it right there. We'll make a mark here and here. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and hook it up to the propane tank there and turn it on and we'll see how many inches of water column we get out of this regulator. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, can you hold with the other hand hold that regulator as I plug it in? <clears throat> okay, now we'll turn it on. It shot up right when you plugged it in. Okay, you see we got movement. Now we're gonna measure that. We're gonna measure how many inches that the gas pressure so here's the incoming gas pressure so it has pushed it down here and it's pushed it up here this will this measurement will be the same as this measurement here okay so we've got eight and a half eight and a half eight and three quarters almost nine inches water column and that's going to be the same so that is what it's meant by inches of water column what is it a half pound equals an inch one PSI equals 28 inches. Okay, one, PSI. one PSI equals 28 inches. Let's see if it's grown any. Okay, so we're getting we're getting between nine and 10 inches of water column right now. So this regulator is doing a great job for us. So we can go ahead and go in there and hook it up to our tank. This so our tank is going to go up to like 11 inches water column. So we're well within spec. No manometer needed.